Coin Toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 37. The Hurricanes and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. That makes it second and six. From their own 42-yard line, second down. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. It's now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. Here they come. He's going to air it long. He'll go long, and he's tackled right away. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. and came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. From the 20-yard line, second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Call it a gain of six yards. Third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Change your quarterback, Kirby. you got to wonder what that's going to do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've got to be ready to trust this guy. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 30. And he tackles him hard. The 40. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. And down he goes at the 50 yard line. 
So in second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He's at the 40. Tackle made at the 36. Very well designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. around the 39-yard line. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 39. Throws complete. He's got space to work. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. That'll bring up third and six. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Three down, three down. Mike four, Mike four. That's a great tackle at the 13. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll knock him down for a loss. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 14. Four down, four down. Mike four, Mike four. Three and eight. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Gain of one yard. That'll make, make it third and nine. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Quick throw, and they're in. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 10-play, 73-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a 7-on-7 drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. So our score, 7-3. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, second down. This one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Aaron and out long. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-3, Bearcats. Back 
back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a good one. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 26. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's tackling at about the 23-yard line. Five, maybe six on that screen pass. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Taken down at the 44-yard line. He just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. That makes it second and 14. down now and they need to get it inside the 42. Steps out of bounds around the 50 yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. These special teams have done it before blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He shoved out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. They'll go ground. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. And the ball bounces out of bounds. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 26 yard line. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Game 13 on the play. First down. Run and he's brought down. Game 
Ball inside the 10-yard line. It's second down. Picks it up. The five. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This was a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he just got stood up right there. The Hurricanes struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game and sometimes you know, Herbie, it's almost like uh, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hand somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play, one touch could get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit, a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hand their go-to guy. Throws incomplete. Excellent pass defense. You've got to be able to make a lightning quick reaction to bat the ball away like he did right there. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Brought down at the 44. Number four on the tackle. That makes it first and ten. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. At the review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Makes the catch and look out. And he hits him hard at the 12-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Another trip in the red zone here for the offense. They don't want to give it up like they did last time. And it pays off. Touchdown. Put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And they're looking to get two points here. this one away he really got a hold of that kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback this is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime nearly intercepted their own 25-yard line. Second down. Get on the 
throw. He caught it. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. He's out of bounds right around the 34. Game seven. That'll bring up fourth and one. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. From their own 38 yard line. Second down. There's a strike complete. He gets hit out of bounds at the 40 yard line. First down. He's going left. And he got it to the sophomore. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. That was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. And he converts the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 62-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And where the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. And somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. Right, hit hard. Not much on that try, and they'll face a fourth and long. No one on the defensive side of the ball was fooled that time, Brad. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. The Hurricanes offensive staff, I think, done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game, even though he's not having great stats. He's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention. It really as a decoy, open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Get to that quickly. Knocked out of bounds at the one yard line. That makes it first and goal. Looking to go up two touchdowns. Five 
fires quickly to the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So a short three-play, 56-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. So the score now, 28-14. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. The Hurricanes lead it by two touchdowns. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This team's now got a hill to climb in the second half. We anticipated it being a tight game, but as you watch this team late in the half, you started to see guys looking for answers. You could almost sense it. They were looking at who's going to take ownership, who's going to lead and make a play. Somebody has to step up right now, Dave. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you come into games, you, you feel like you have this huge game plan and all this stuff you want to accomplish, and sometimes it doesn't work, and sometimes you got to start changing things around, and sometimes it's simple. Sometimes the quarterback needs to come in the huddle and say, hey, guys, you want to protect me a little better? You know, you they need to say some things that, that makes people feel uncomfortable sometimes to get a rise out of them and knowing your team. Sometimes middle linebackers have to get the defense all in tight and say, listen, you need to make sure you're taking care of this. They've been killing us on this route. It's your fault. Step up. The leaders in the huddle a lot of times can say the things that the coaches can't and get a different reaction. So maybe it's time I say something to you, too. It's time for you to pick up your game at halftime. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. The Hurricanes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Nice run there. That makes it second and six. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. And they make the stop right around the 24-yard line. Spread the field with five wide. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Direction play gets them four yards. That makes it seven and six. Caught open field, and he's taken down at about the 47 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. Tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. That'll make it second and long. He's 
tackle at the 40. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up third and long. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Mike four, Mike four. He goes out of bounds around the 47 yard line. That's a game seven. Fourth down. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. No good on fourth down. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Wants to throw outside, and he's hit immediately. And that completion gives him over 300 yards through the air. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of preparing because he's read the defense like a pro all day long. From the 27-yard line, first down. at the 16-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. catch the defense off guard with a play action pass there but by going to the ground they didn't have much of an opening this one should be makeable the kick is up and it splits the uprights looks like they're ready for the kick sends it sailing downfield He's to the 20. Brought down at the 23-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. their own 25-yard line. It's second down. Makes it out to about the 43. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. He's in space. He's tackled in the open field. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. He 
He steps out around the 39-yard line. We head to the fourth. 31-14, Hurricane. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Here I go! Mike Ford! Just throws this one away. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Got some open field. Brought down right around the 22 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Good tackle there in space. So it's second down and about two yards to go. job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. That'll bring up third and four. Here's play number 10 on the drive. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Complete. Brought down. Nothing doing. Excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. And he's tackled right away. And this is the 12th play of the drive. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he tacks on the extra point. So a 12-play, 77-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Oh, he's obviously come in here with a plan. He knows what he wants to do, and he's just getting the job done. Let's also give some credit to the offensive line. They've done a really good job of keeping the pressure off of him just long enough to allow him to read the defense, be able to make the right read, and get the ball thrown downfield for big play. He'd love to keep the offense rolling along here and get even more separation. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. That's good for a game. Just under three to go in regulation. And off of the middle, and he's stopped. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant, maybe, to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page, and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. And he hits him hard at the 21 yard line. Tight, guys. Tight. From the 21 yard line. Mike 
First down. He makes his way out to about the six. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. And he's level at the three. They get three yards on the play. Doesn't look like this defense is going to let them beat them with the deep passes. So they'll allow those short completions to the tight end. And he's in there. Touchdown. That's a huge touchdown on the ground, Herbie. That might do it. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. Just under two minutes in the game. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's out of bounds around the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He airs it out. And they make the stop at the 18. Well, I tell you, these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. And down he goes, around the 16-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it third and seven. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 16. Out of bounds with the nine yard line. That's good for the game of seven yards. That'll bring up fourth and one. Quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. You knew they had to dial up something big, but these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play. And he hits the PAT. So that's a six-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. He's tackled at the 42. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. They go to the ground game. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. It's second and seven. Ball on the 38-yard line. We have less than a minute to go. Gives it right side. Runs right for a nice game. Game seven on the play. First down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock.
The Hurricanes coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.